Okay, so the other day uh, my computer started acting a little funny, and I noticed that if I went to the TTY, which is a Control Shift and one of the F keys, uh, that I was getting this error message in there repeatedly about a USB problem. I Googled that error code, and it said that it was a power issue to the USB device. So I quickly just unplugged pretty much everything from USB except for my keyboard and mouse. I unplugged the hub that I have, didn't fix the problem. I restarted the computer, and before the operating system even loads, when BIOS or whatever you want to call it these days starts booting, it was super, super slow. And like the, the bootloader, everything, you know, Grub was booting slow. Once I got into the system, the system was running fine, except for that error message. And then if I plugged in a USB device, sometimes it would take a little while for it to detect. And I, so next thing I did was I got a compressed air, I cleaned out my machine to make sure there was no dust causing any connection issues, then I went in there and I unplugged all the USB, the, the, all the ports that were connected like on the front panels of my uh, computer. I actually unplugged every little wire except for like the power button uh, that was going to the motherboard. So I disconnected all the, the front audio ports, uh, the front USB ports, the um, firewire port that I have on the front still getting the same issue. Then I decided to check, now I'm thinking my power supply might be dying or my motherboard's going bad, which is sad. I've had this computer for a long time. My viewers helped me buy it, I don't know, seven years ago, eight years ago, a while, but it still is a great computer. I don't want a new one. I like the one I have. So now I'm worried that I'm gonna have to replace either the power supply or the motherboard. Power supply wouldn't be too bad. Motherboard might be a little bit of a pain. Um, so I next I test the power supply. First, I check the cord, I get my multimeter, getting the voltage out of the cord, then I unplug everything, I get the little jumper wire I, to jump the, to turn on the power supply, and then I check each of the little red connectors against ground, they all had the right voltage, so then I plug everything back in, uh, I still have all the USB ports and stuff disconnected, still getting the same merit. Message, message error, error message. So then I go into, again, I call it BIOS. I guess technically it's not called BIOS anymore. Anyway, I go into the motherboard settings and I go over to advanced options down to USB and I have, there's legacy support. I disable that. That didn't fix anything. Then it said, you know, support for USB 2 and support for USB 3. So I disabled the USB 2 support. Actually, the first time I disabled both USB 2 and USB 3. And I knew as I'm getting ready to exit, I'm like, my keyboard's not going to work because uh, it's plugged in through USB. So, uh, but I'm like, ah, screw it. You know, I'll, I'll just, if I need to, I can you always know, probably jump around the motherboard. I can reset. So I restart the computer and the error went away. Everything good fine, but of course I couldn't do anything. Luckily at my garage, I did have a old PS2 mouse which, or keyboard, which I actually, I kind of like this old keyboard. Uh, I don't know if I might make a switch. I mean, I have a wireless keyboard, which is cool, but I never, I don't care about the wire. Wireless mouse is nice, but the keyboard, I don't know. I might switch back to this two decade old keyboard here. Anyway, so luckily my computer had PS2 ports on it. So I plugged in the keyboard. I was able to reboot, get back into the BIOS, use the keyboard to re-enable. First I re-enabled um, USB 3 and the error was still gone. Then I re-enabled USB 2, uh, the error came back. But without USB 2 enabled, most of my devices don't work. Uh, and I, I don't know exactly how it all works. I have a USB 3 hub and um, USB 3 stuff hooked into it, like my mouse would work if I plugged into USB 3 port on my computer, but if I plugged the hub in and then that into the hub, it didn't work. So I'm not sure how that all works. So I'm like, ah, oh, what is going on? And now I'm starting to get worried. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to figure out. It doesn't seem to be the power supply. It must be the motherboard. I go into start hooking stuff back up. I'm thinking, can I disable the USB 2? And do I have enough USB 3 ports if I use the PS2 keyboard to, to get things running? Because I really just don't want to get a new computer. Um, and while I'm trying to figure all this out, I realized that when I unplugged all my USB devices, I realized I have all these USB ports. My hair's still sticking up. USB ports up high. But then there were two further down on the board and I still had stuff plugged into there. Um, two things. I unplugged them both. The error message went away. Turns out my MIDI keyboard was causing the problem. Now I don't know if the wire was loose or not. I haven't really messed with it. I unplugged it. The error message went away. I plugged it into the USB hub and the error message didn't come back. So maybe it was a loose wire because that uh, MIDI keyboard is powered through USB. And I have had where it wiggles loose before. Um, so all that, and it was just 
The first thing I did was unplug all my USB devices. I just didn't see those two ports further down. I don't look at the back of my computer very often. So, anyway, I'm just telling you the story to tell you the story. Uh, it's a computer-related thing, and uh, I just wanted to go through, you know, some of the troubleshooting processes that I went through. Uh, but yeah, my computer's working fine. The error went away, um, and I'm sure the MIDI keyboard's fine. I'm hoping, you know, I do use it fairly regularly. Uh, and that's it. Uh, thank you for listening to my story, and I hope that you have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Link in the description. Have a great day.